Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Taylor here, your fine art auctioneer, and we have got a real treat for you. Through the magic of computers and the internet and Skype, we have an interview all the way up in Boston. I'm in Atlanta. We're going to do an interview with Alex Komsky, five museums that he's in that I know of. He's just about to have a one-man show in Dubai. It's, it, it's a lot of fun. Alex, are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, Ray, sure. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. How have you been? I've been great, thank you. Good, good, good. Now, uh, you know, I, I think about the, the, the many years I've seen your art going all the way back to the early 90s at the New York City Art Expo. Uh, that's back when they had it at the Jacob Javits Convention Center. Now they have it at the pier, and I have not been to the new location yet. Shame on me, but uh, I do remember going year after year after year and seeing your booth completely sold out. Who, who would have known that 25 years later, you and I would be selling art on television? What a world. What a world yeah it was a good time then very <laughs> good time then. and I remember uh, our text for every year every year I used to go there sometimes I exhibit there uh, by myself I shared the booze with somebody it was quite expensive and uh, then I was picked up by the publisher and the publisher showed my work and uh, actually then I hook up with you guys, so uh, hopefully we'll show some, some uh, of my work somewhere I so. there, you know, maybe on West Coast, East Coast, whatever. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready when you are, but I know a lot of our clients are interested in this work here. Um, Folks, th this is an incredible opportunity for the collectors. Now remember, the winning bidder will get a DVD of this interview. It's called the, the work of art is called The Silent Contemplation. And uh, yes, I am going to brag on you just a little bit. Now, five major museums, the Tretikov uh, Museum of Moscow, Russia, the Zimmerly Art Museum in New Brunswick, New Jersey, the Russian Museum of Modern Art in Jersey City, the Archangel State Museum of Archangel Russia, uh, corporate collectors include Meditech Corporation, Children's Hospital, Fidelity Investors, uh, Fidelity Investments, uh, Mr. Hall, the Swiss ambassador to Germany, many, many others, e Prokofiev of London, Dr. Gautam Alabadia of Mumbai, and that's the gentleman who is sponsoring his show right now in Dubai. Uh, I, I, just, I just love seeing your career go so international. You're becoming quite the world-famous artist. How does that feel? Well, yes, my, my friend and collector and uh, sponsor, actually, he having a show of my work. He opened up the gallery in Dubai, United Amer Amer uh, Arab Emirates. Um, and he started his um, work with actually my show, my personal show. is going to be uh, the whole month of October and November in Dubai. So if you have a chance to visit... Uh, Dubai, you can stop by this gallery, I can give you the name of the gallery. And um, it was about, uh, going to be about 25 paintings, and all those paintings uh, actually he bought from me. And uh, he really was a good friend of mine uh, for the uh, last few years. And we actually met um, in New York after the expo. And I'm lucky, I, you know, I participated in Expo and after that I met this guy. And uh, all, all these years he actually helped me and doing a lot of things for me. Well, that, that's wonderful. And, I, and again, congratulations on all of your many recent successes and uh, really a 30-year career in the world of fine art, probably longer than that. But again, back to this painting. Now, we have a lot of collectors that uh, they look at this unique technique. Tell us, tell us, how do you create them? How does this painting come to life? Yeah, as, as I told uh, before, you know, I was impressed by some of the um, artists who use the uh, gold technique, t such as Klimt. I was lucky enough to see Klimt painting in, in, li uh, um, in live, live painting, a uh, major painting in Vienna a couple of years ago. Um, I started uh, working it. I saw Klimt painting in the books, and it impressed me so much. Then I saw one painting in New York. It's impressed me so much his technique, but uh, over the times I developed my own technique. You know, I I trying to get, you know, not so close to his technique, his 
uh, actually a uh, way of doing that. You know, I don't like to copy anybody. Uh, so I, I'm developing my own, my own stuff. So for example, in this painting, I use gold on background and the other, um, uh, and the other pieces of the painting, they, they paint in an oil and uh, it's more realistic uh, type of work than Klimt. Klimt is more de decorative, I'm more realistic. Uh, but still, it's some type of decorative elements in there, but it's more realistic painting. It's also, you can find some symbolism in Klimt painting. This is more real, real figure, you know, a real figure in a real environment, you know, and uh, use of gold leaf on the background. You know, it's, it's my uh, trademark signature style. So uh, I start usually from uh, regular standard uh, 16 by 20 canvas or 20 by, 20 by 24 canvas is the most popular sizes. And what I do, you know, I apply flat color. Usually it's, it's dark brown for the gold or dark blue for the silver. It should uh, leaf, gold leaf, metallic leaf, it's a very uh, sp uh, specific material. You got to be very careful what kind of colors you use because the colors which goes with uh, gold, they probably won't go too much with silver. Uh, that's why you got to plan ahead. So what I do, uh, I usually do sketches like this, small thumbnail sketches. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I was a teacher, I, w I used to teach for 10 years in Boston adult education system. Uh, and we did a lot of um, drawing and paintings. And uh, I usually teach people, you know, try to make a lot of thumbnail sketches, small sketches. It's very, very useful. You learn how to compose stuff, you learn details, you plan ahead. You know, some artists, they are spontaneous. They just paint like a, uh, like like it once like alla prima you know it's everybody different you know i i don't use alla prima type of things you know i plan usually i plan ahead all my uh, all my work i plan ahead i do precise drawing so after i done with sketch i do a drawing and then after i do a drawing i trace it to the paper uh, tracing paper and then I fix uh, some type of my uh, flaws on the drawing and it's very easy to work on the tracing paper and uh, uh, when you do drawing right on a canvas you can do that but it requires much more time uh, because it's much harder to work straight on the canvas that's why you use a, use a drawing on the paper and then you trace it uh, with the tracing paper and after that you transfer it with the color like red color whatever um, carbon paper because the surface is dark you cannot use like uh, regular staples uh, type of paper black paper you you got to use like type of uh, red or yellow uh, type of carbon paper so when, when you're done with that you know, you have your own draw. You have your drawing on the um, on the paper. So you start working, uh, putting gold leaf on it. I use sizer. Uh, size uh, is a glue. It's a special thing for the gold gold leaf. It's uh, I brush it on the canvas, and uh, I wait maybe ten minutes, and then I apply it with a with the brush, it's, it's not easy to apply gold leaf, you know, it's very light material. Uh, you, you got to be very careful. Uh, when I, after that, I let it dry. I let it dry maybe half an hour, hour, and then I clean it with a, it's not clean, you see this small pieces of gold um, copper leaf, and uh, I usually clean it with a soft brush. When I done cleaning it, I start to paint. Ray, you you have a question? 
No, no, no. I just want uh, I, I just want to thank you for such a thorough presentation. Uh, I, I don't think a, a lot of our viewers have realized just the incredible amount of work and love and dedication and planning that you put into each and every work of art. I, I'm just very, very impressed. And uh, thank you for your time. It, it's been just such an honor. And I, I'm so pleased that your uh, career is just taking off internationally. And uh, oh my goodness, the, the sky's the limit. I, I know there's many more museums in your future. Well, folks, this is a great time to collect art. You're dealing literally directly with the artist. There is our friend Alex. Can we see your face? I want to say goodbye to you because we have to get back to the auction. I can, I can only see your chin. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what a great honor. We're going to have more interviews with Alexander Komsky. We're going to get in his still lifes. So we're going to have his uh, uh, landscapes coming in, but uh, what a great honor. And the show, like I said so many times, is just getting better and better and better. So let's get to it. Let's get back to the auction. And here we go. Thank you, folks. And thank you, Alex.